Hi, I'm Congressman Greg Stanton. I wish I could be there in person with you, but I'm in Washington, D.C. right now fighting for our shared values on the floor of the United States House of Representatives. But I am always pleased and honored to participate in HRC events in any way I can, in this case virtually, and this event is especially meaningful. You see, in the fight for LGBTQ plus equality, we have made significant progress from Stonewall to the Supreme Court. And when civil rights advances in our country, it just doesn't benefit one group of individuals, it benefits all of us. It makes our country stronger. And so much of that progress has been driven at the local level by hardworking city employees and community leaders who are not gonna sit around and wait for Washington DC to act. They're gonna make the investments in their community now. They're gonna make their communities safer, more inclusive places. I've seen this local power firsthand. See, when I was mayor of Phoenix, one of my proudest accomplishments was when Phoenix fast-tracked and passed a fully inclusive non-discrimination ordinance to make sure that our LGBTQ plus residents and visitors are protected from discrimination in their homes, in their workplaces, or in public spaces. And I'm very proud that a number of cities in Arizona have followed suit, like Mesa, Tempe, and most recently, Scottsdale. While mayor, HRC made Phoenix a perfect score, gave us 100% on the municipality equality uh, index. We were the first city in Arizona to do so, and now many other cities have followed suit on that issue as well. The hard truth is that in far too many places around this country, discrimination is still permitted under law in public facilities, in education institutions, when applying for jobs, trying to rent or buy a home. Dis discrimination, sadly, is still permitted under federal law. So we can't rest on our laurels when there are so many states right now that are actively trying to turn back progress or write discriminatory practices into their own laws. Laws that target trans or gender nonconforming youth or allow discrimination in healthcare or sinister bills in state legislatures meant to override those critical protections that have been passed at the local level. We can and must do better. That's why I'm so proud to be a co-sponsor of the Equality Act, which the House has passed twice now to ensure stronger federal protections for our Americans. But I'm sad to say that this bill is one of many victims of the filibuster in the United States Senate where because of that filibuster, the Equality Act is not even allowed to come up for debate. We're gonna keep fighting to get this critically important civil rights bill across the finish line. But with one chamber of the Congress refusing to act to protect the rights of our neighbors, action can and must occur at the local level. That's why this event is so powerful. Each of you has the power to make meaningful, transformative change across entire counties and cities. Because in Arizona, in any place in America, everyone deserves to be seen, to be heard, to be welcomed and safe from violence or harassment. And oh, by the way, it helps promote the very most talented people to come to your community. It makes us more economically competitive and stronger. Everyone deserves equal treatment under the law, no matter who you are, who you love, or how you express yourself. So again, I am proud to stand with you. I'm proud to stand with HRC and all of our local allies. Thank you for all you do.